your high school sports and Krispy Kreme Donuts presents the Sevier County Game of the Week coming to you tonight from the campus of Sevier County High School, home of the Smoky Bears. The Bears take on the Jefferson County Patriots. So make sure you stay right here on Channel 180 as your high school sports, along with Krispy Kreme Donuts, brings you this week's Sevier County Game of the Week. <laughs> At Sevier County Electric System, we know that when the power goes out, it's important to you to have power restored as quickly as possible. That's why we've introduced the Power Action Line. As soon as you call the Power Action Line from a phone associated with your electric service, we know immediately that your power is out. The Power Action Line lets us answer up to 1,200 calls per hour, so we can make sure and identify all outages, even after major storms. We track those outages through our integrated mapping system, which provides our operations center a better understanding of where the affected areas are located and predicts probable starting points that helps our crews begin looking for the problem. Our whole goal is to get your power back on as soon as possible. We'll even call you back to make sure your service has been restored. At Sevier County Electric System, we want to take care of our customers, and that's what we do every day. Sevier County Electric System, we are the power behind our community. Just call 865-774-6300. Welcome back to the Sevier County Game of the Week, presented by Your High School Sports and Krispy Kreme Donuts. I'm your host, Roddy Woods. Joining us now is Coach Tony Lingenfelder. Coach, first things first, I want to talk about your, your preseason camp. How's it going? We've had a good preseason. We've had a few minor injuries, but uh, nothing bad. Uh, we've got a lot of good work in, trying to get in shape and trying to get ready to play this first game. I hear a few rumors around that says that you changed things up a little bit. It looks like you're going to be a running team this year. Well, we've got to improve our running game. We're, we'll be more of a two-back offense than we've been in the past, more two-back, three-wides, but uh, we've got to be able to run football better, no doubt about that. Some of the key players on this year's team, talk about them. Well, uh, hopefully we're going to be a lot better up front. We've got Tanner Wood, uh, Chris Bohannon, uh, Dalton Mitchell back up front, uh, which, which should be a big help for us in the offensive line. Uh, Cam is back at quarterback, of course, and Hurst and uh, Russell back at receiver. We've got a lot of people coming back on both sides of the ball. So everything is where you want it to be? Because tonight you are facing Jefferson County and Spencer Riley's team. Talk about a little bit about your team and then talk about Jeff Kent. Well, first thing you need to know is first game is – is always uh, tough because a lot of things happen that you know you don't really want to happen. You're not as sharp uh, as you normally would be later on in the year, and and you just try not to make more mistakes than the other team does. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've worked hard to get ready, and I'm sure they have too. Uh, we got a lot of respect for Jeff County. They've always got a good football team. Uh, they always do a good job of blocking and tackling, and and they're always you know sound. From Jeff County's perspective, what do you look for them to do? Well, I look for them to try to establish a running game and, you know, on offense. That's something they've always done. And look for them to be physical up front on both sides of the ball. Defensively, the, they don't line up in a lot of different looks. Uh, they just line up and play good, sound defense. From, from, uh, from this game, you guys jump into the, the heavy part of the schedule. But first things first, right, you got to get Jeff County tonight. Right, this this is a rivalry game for both of us, and, and uh, you know it, it would help to get off to a good start and you know get a win against Jeff County, and, and that that's that's what we need to happen. Get a little momentum going into the next part of the schedule. All right, we've been talking to Coach Tony Lingenfelder. His team takes on Jeff County here in a little while, right here on Your High School Sports Channel 180. <laughs>
Welcome back to the pregame show of your high school sports presented by Krispy Kreme Donuts as we bring you tonight's game, the Sevier County game of the week. Jefferson County Patriots taking on the Sevier County Smoky Bears. It's all down to let's start this game and kick it off right here. The 2018 season of the Sevier County Game of the Week. Sponsored in part by Krispy Kreme Donuts, Buddy's Barbecue, Sevier County Electric System, Claybo's Express Car Wash, Five Oaks Tire and Service Center, and the Sevier County Quarterback Club. I hope you enjoy tonight's game. Hey, it's Chris Reddick with your high school sports. As you can see, we are having one of the biggest tailgate parties here just before the game. I got all the goodies that you need. I got Buddy's Barbecue. We got sweet tea. We got Krispy Kreme donuts, all the good stuff. And we're going to be giving some of this away here right at the game. But just want to let you know we're here for the big game, first game of the year, and that is between Smoky Bears. That's right. The Sevier County Smoky Bears are going to take on Jefferson County. So it's getting ready to get started right now. Welcome to another season of high school football on your high school sports. Hi, I'm Ralph Miranda along with former Maryville All-State linebacker Nathan Miranda and Occidental College linebacker. And tonight we've got Jefferson County at Sevier County. And Nathan, Sevier County uh, coming off a 5-5 season where they made the playoffs, won their first game, lost their second. And this year they're looking for big things from their sophomore quarterback, Cam Bird. That's right. You know, I think one of the biggest differences when you're moving up from any level, middle school to high school, high school to college, is becoming comfortable. It's always a little faster. Your decisions have to be made quicker, but he has that under his belt now, having played his freshman year. Now it's all about, I think, just being confident. The coaching staff is obviously confident in him. He just has to be confident in his abilities. And I think they're looking forward to a good season from him. Let's talk a little bit about Jefferson County. The Patriots coming off a 5-5 season where they did not make the playoffs, but uh, their defense should be their strength this year. They return 10 of 11 guys on defense, and anytime you can do that, you have a chance for a really good season. That's right. That's going to be big for them. And look for their two defensive leaders. End number 10, Jalen Haney, and their corner number 7, Ben Royster, both seniors. Well, it looks like it's going to be a good one tonight. First game of the 2018 season, a Class A versus Class 5 matchup, Jefferson County at Sevier County. We'll be right back on your high school sports game of the week. Oaks Tires, carrying top name brands Michelin Tires and BF Goodrich Tires. Visit FiveOaksTire.com. Located on 1425 Parkway, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Or call Five Oaks Tires at 865-453-3469. Hey, it's Chris Reddick with your high school sports. Just before the big game of the week, we're here at Sevier County, and you can see right in front of me. Oh, take a look. Oh, I got a mess there, but there's some football donuts made fresh at Krispy Kreme, and we got a group of guys right here that I'm sure would like to try one of these football donuts. It look like guys have had a fumble here. So how many guys we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Tell you what, each one grab one. There you go, grab one. Yeah, there you go. Take one. And then what are you going to do? We're going to synchronize taking a bite at the same time. And I want you to yell out, tell me what you think about it. Here we go. Grab one. Grab one. There you go. Thank you. All right, guys. Stand by. Hold your donuts up. We're going to call a play here. It's going to be on. Go. Okay. Down. Set. Go. All right, what do you think? Real quick, real quick. Fabulous, just made Amazing. Donut. Great. Best donut I've ever had. Fabulous. Go Bears. <laughs> there you have it. Was it six out of six? Love those Krispy Kreme donuts. Hey, be sure to grab a Krispy Kreme donut right here in Sevier. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Oh 
my goodness, we are here and it's almost game time and I am sweating it so out of here. It's hot, just like these hot, fresh donuts from Krispy Kreme. And I've got someone here. Someone told me that I'm next to one of the professional softball players here for Sevier County. What is your name? Reagan Alvey. All right, Reagan, I need you to take time to jump in and get one of those Krispy Kreme donuts. I'll let some of your friends get one too, if you want to. Now you gotta hold, it, hold tight. Don't eat one yet. Would y'all like one? Okay, well hold tight, because the play is on second go. I'm going to say ready, set, go, go, and then you're all going to eat them. Tell me what you think. Okay, you ready? Okay, down, set, go! Uh, off sides. <laughs> give, me the do give me the donut back. Give me the donut. No, I'm just <laughs> all right, we're, we're going to try it again. Here we go. Down, set, go, go! <laughs> all right, real quick, tell me what you think. What you think? I know your mouth's full. Great. Mm -hmm. yeah, Good. Oh, once again, three out of three. Hey, they love those Krispy Kreme donuts. Be sure to grab a Krispy Kreme donut. They're in two locations, Pigeon Forge and here in Sevilla. Welcome to Sevier County High School for another season of your high school sports and the game of the week. Hi, I'm Ralph Miranda. I'll be joined by, in a moment by my, our color man tonight, Nathan Miranda, former All-State linebacker at Maryville High School. And we've got a great one for you today. Jefferson County at Sevier County. This is a battle of counties that goes way back when they used to be in the same region. It was an even tougher battle, but now not non-region game, but still a rivalry. And we've got a great one for you to open the season. We want to... Uh, let you know of our presenting sponsor uh, once again Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge hot and ready look for the hot light daily 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 1030 Buddy's Barbecue in Sevierville Winfield Dunn Parkway across from Lowe's they can do special events parties family reunions birthdays company picnics and weddings Claybo's Express Car Wash is back with us again this season Sevier County Electric System Five Oaks Tire and Service, located at 1425 Parkway Drive in Sevierville. Remember, you can watch your high school sports replayed every Wednesday night on Charter Channel 180. So if you're hearing my voice right now, you are on Charter Channel 180 watching the game, and that's great. Also, the Your High School Sports Show each week can be seen in the Tri-Cities on Fox 39 at 9.30 a.m. 9 Thursday morning. So, uh, Nathan, we're ready to go for another season of high school football, and uh, this should be a good one to start the season. Should be a good bad. Looking forward to it. Jefferson County comes into this game with a, a experienced defense, 10 of 11 starters back. The only non-starter from last year is number 92, the tackle, A.J. Bumgardner. Uh, they've got a stud at end in Jalen Haney, 258 pounds, and their superb corner, Ben Royster, the two leaders on defense. Sevier County, of course, uh, coming off a playoff season where they were 1-1 one and one in the playoffs, are led by their sophomore quarterback, Cam Burden. So this should be a good one. Jefferson County's got it lined up on the 40-yard line. We're about ready to go in the 2018 season. There's the whistle, and here we go. Sevier County. Not a bad return given the, how that started out there for Sevier County. Yes, not a bad return at all. Number six, Braden Hurst picking up the loose football after fumbling it for a couple minutes, but he gets the ball and he returns it out to about the 17-yard line. So that'll give uh, Sevier County a first and 10 at the 17-yard line. <laughs> All right, so first and ten for Sevier County. Cam Burden at quarterback. He's going to take and throw a quick pass, kind of a bubble screen. It's completed. And he's going to that's pick a good up good yardage. I think that's a good pass to start the drive off for Cam there. It's a nice, easy, relatively easy completion to make. There's his confidence here. And a first down. And he completes it to Caleb Hughes, the wide receiver, sophomore wide receiver, and uh, gets him a first down. And that'll be the Claybo's Express Shine Car Wash first down. Ken Burden again now, man in motion. Going to hand it on a jet sweep. Good play by 33 on Jefferson County to set the edge. I know he didn't make the play, but he turned it back inside to his help. Excellent play by Gage Bolin, number 33. One of the, uh, or the Patriot linebacker, or Rover linebacker, I guess you might say. That's going to bring up a second down, and we're going to call it about nine from the 28-yard line. Three receivers to the right for Sevier County. 
4-3 look on defense for the Patriots. Burden rolls out to his right, throws a quick out. It's going to be incomplete. So that's going to bring up a third and nine from the Sevier County 28. So third and nine for Sevier County. They're going to line up in kind of a wing type formation. Tailback splits out Sebastian Nelson to the left of Cam Burden. Takes a snap. Looks to throw. Looks like, looks like the ball was tipped at the line of scrimmage, maybe by Haney. Yes, it does. And then Cam was pressured there. Did have a great chance to get it off, but a good play, good stop there by Jefferson County defense. Yeah, J uh, Jalen Haney, number 10, got his hand on that ball, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. So Sevier County, after one first down, not able to convert another one, and they're going to have to punt it away. Back to receive is Ben Royster for Jefferson County. He's on his 40-yard line. It is a fake. Oh, oh, oh they got it. Gutsy call there on by Spear County. Yeah, that was a real gutsy call, but you know that's what really not a better time to do it, right? First run. Yeah. So that's going to be a Claybos car wash, Express Shine car wash, first down. Especially given they had a little bit of momentum going there with one first down, they want to try to keep it going. Right, right. But from your own 28-yard line, still takes a little bit of guts. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> nice play by Cam Bird. Nice soft throw to lead his receiver. That gives Sevier County a first down on the Patriot 42-yard line. 10-23 left first quarter, early moments of the ball game. Quick pass. Yeah, and Cam would take that all day if Jefferson County is giving that much of a cushion on the outside. Yeah, I was just going to say that. It looks like they're looks like they don't really want to get beat deep, so they're going right. to give a, they're going to give a lot of cushion underneath with those corners. But that's going to be another first down. So the Claybos Express Shine Car Wash and big play here early in the game. First down for Sevier County. The ball is going to be at the Jefferson County 30-yard line. And, you know, considering the Jefferson County defense is a strength of their team, it's imperative for them to, to stand up and make a statement here. You're right. You, you would expect them to with 10 out of 11 starters returning. Burden's going to run it. Oh, nice play. That's another great play by the Patriot position yeah. there, Gage Bowen. Yeah, Gage Bowen, the Patriot position, the Patriot linebacker, I guess you might say, uh, rover linebacker, but a tremendous play to drop Burden, a very elusive runner, for a loss. And that's going to bring up second down and 11. Loss of one back to the 31-yard line. I would say Gage is going to be an important factor for the Jefferson County defense today with uh, the running quarterback, Cam. Yes, I definitely will. Well, and especially since they play him opposite of Haney. So you would right. think that you would think that Sevier County is going to want to run away from Haney, right. and that's where Gage Bolden is. So he should have a big night. He should. And they run right back the other way. That Jefferson County's defense, they're going to they're gonna have to toughen up here and hold them. Yeah. Yeah, that was a nice, well-designed play. You know, they sent the man in motion. They, they kind of did that, that outside zone right. type look. And when Bolden kind of went with that motion, they cut it right back underneath. So, yeah. nice play. Another Claybos Express Shine Car Wash, first and 10. Sevier County driving. They have the ball on the 16-yard line of Jefferson County. Running your way again from Jalen Haynes. Seems like that's become a, uh, a, tr <laughs> a trend for them. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, a guy that good, that big, you definitely want to kind of stay away from him. They're going to throw it the other side oh, the this time. The on the outside. Yeah. Again with the cushion down there. They'll, they'll, take, they'll take four or five yards all day. Yeah. Braden Hurst with the completion. Looks like we got a flag. Probably unsportsmanlike conduct. Some sort of unnecessary roughness. Looks like they had a helmet come off through on offense there for Sevier County, number 70, Chris Bohannon. So he'll have to come out for a he'll play. He'll have to come out for a play, that's right. Personal foul against Jefferson County. That's going to be half the distance to the goal. So another first and ten. Claybo's Express Shine Car Wash, first and ten. Jefferson defense right now. I'm expecting a couple of runs here trying to punch it in. Yeah, I would too. Six guys up 
Oh, right up the middle. That's a nice play. So, Burden hands it off to number 40. Look like number 40. Not sure of the number there exactly. It's like we don't have a number for we don't have a number for the gentleman who scored, but well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Touchdown for Sevier County. We'll try to get the name of the player that scored the touchdown. And that's a disheartening drive there for Jefferson County's defense. We talked about how important they would be returning to Ivy 11. Right. It's going to be a long day if, 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 if there's more of that to come. Right, exactly. But a great start for sophomore season. Cam Burden there. Boosting his confidence. Touchdown drive. A little help from the from the fake play call. Yeah. No, that's, that was, that's exactly right. But uh, Sevier County with a great drive, a nice fake on the punt. And they take the 7-0 lead with 8.33 left in the first quarter. Let's take a quick break right here on your high school sports game of the week. At Sevier County Electric System, we know that when the power goes out, it's important to you to have power restored as quickly as possible. That's why we've introduced the Power Action Line. As soon as you call the Power Action Line from a phone associated with your electric service, we know immediately that your power is out. The Power Action Line lets us answer up to 1,200 calls per hour so we can make sure and identify all outages, even after major storms. We track those outages through our integrated mapping system, which provides our operations center a better understanding of where the affected areas are located and predicts probable starting points that helps our crews begin looking for the problem. Our whole goal is to get your power back on as soon as possible. We'll even call you back to make sure your service has been restored. At Sevier County Electric System, we want to take care of our customers, and that's what we do every day. Sevier County Electric System, we are the power behind our community. Just call 865-774-6300. Oh my goodness, I am still sweating and it's still hot. Like I said, like these hot, fresh Krispy Kreme donuts. We got three left and I'm right here beside of a legend. This is Hall of Fame quarterback, number lucky. Number 13, baby. There right. ain't no other number for a quarterback. All right, right. What, what did you play and tell us who you are? I, uh, my graduating uh, football year was 1987. My name is Jimbo Whaley. It was the first winning season in this uh, school in 24 years when I was a senior. So. Me and Moses played together, brought the tablets down from the mountain and all that good stuff. It's been a long time, 30 years now. Oh, wow. Well, Jimbo, you still got it in you to uh, maybe toss one of these footballs in your mouth here? Hey, I there's tell you, nothing like a fresh, hot Krispy Kreme. What? what? Ooh. No. Oh, great. Hey, well, quarterback, I tell you what, I want to see if you can still toss two of these to anybody you want to, man. I'm not going to throw these. <laughs> no, you can have them come down to get one. Who, who wants one? We got one left. Y'all come, come here and get a donut. There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah, you got it. There you have it. All the donuts are gone. But guess what? You don't have to worry about it. They've got plenty in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. All right, now let's get ready to play ball. Let's go. Just, just, just do that, yeah. All right, we're back at Sevier County High School. 8.33 left in the first quarter. Sevier County with a nice drive. Almost 80 yards with the fake punt. Jefferson County feels the punt. Number Solid seven. return there for the Patriots to yeah. start their drive. Nice return by Royster, one of their leaders in the secondary on defense. Now yeah. we have a flag. Yeah. Looks like another unsportsmanlike conduct after the play. Could you tell who it was on? Was it on Jefferson? Uh, I couldn't, okay. uh, couldn't tell. All right. Looked like it was. Looked like it might have been Sevier I'm not sure though. Oh, against Jefferson County. Looks like against both teams, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, so offsetting penalties. That'll offset it and put the ball right there at the 34-yard line where Jefferson County will get in business. And Jefferson County, uh, Nathan, a younger offense. Their offensive line's a little inexperienced this year, but they do bring back Tanner at Tanner Atkins at quarterback who kind of got uh, kicked into high gear second half of last season and proved that he was the guy that could lead this offense. And then, of course, Chris Hawkins, number 18, their senior tailback, right. who was kind of their bell cow. I'm looking for Chris Hawkins uh, to be an impact player today. This should feed him the ball. Yeah. 
Third play by 14, Tyler Wilson there, Sevier County. Well, so far it looks like Sevier County is the more fired up team coming out here early Definitely. in this game. They have uh, all the momentum right now. All the momentum and uh, nice play by number 14 there, Wilson. And that's going to bring up a big loss. It's going to be second down and about 20. Be interesting to see what they call here. I'm looking for maybe a draw. Wow, now they jump off sides. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you get an inexperienced offensive line that uh, hasn't right. played in a while. It's hard when you get into a, a road environment. The crowd starts to get a little loud, and you're behind the eight ball, and it's easy to, to miss the count. So that's going to bring up a second and 25. Now I would say yes, run a draw play. Try to get some yards. That's exactly what they're going to do. They're going to give it to a Hawkins. Yeah. Step for a short yeah. end. Yeah. So that's going to bring up a third down. Third down and about 22 yards. It'll be interesting to see what they call here if they want to just do the other handoff, give the punter some room to work with, play the field position game, if they're going to try to, to get a big chunk of yardage here. Good, good question. That's exactly right. We'll find out how daring they want to be right here. One back in the backfield, three wide receivers to the right. They're going to throw it. They're going to go across the field to a screen. And we got a flag, though. Maybe holding on the outside there. I'm sure Severe Cameron must like to find this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a hole back there to try to spring that, that play. It was a nice, well-designed play. Quarterback looked one way, went the other one, threw the little screen, but I think we're going to have holding. Right, not, not, as you said, not a bad play there. No, not a bad play at all, but that's going to negate the... Uh, if I was Sevier County, though, I might decline it, but then again, why, why not take it and move, you, move them back? That's, yeah, yeah. Because it would have been fourth down had they declined it. Right, I think I would have declined it because you never know what could happen. Right, yeah, I mean, you know, but I guess they chose to take the field position, and it's going to be good field position because now you've got... Uh, Oh gosh, let's see. Basically, you got uh, fourth and or third and 35. Right. Wow. Nice play. Nice pass there. Brody Moore with the completion from Tanner Atkins. Atkins, and that's going to get them a little bit of yardage, so they'll have a little more room to punt. 6-17 and counting. Sevier County should be working with some great field position here on their second drive. They can back up that first with another touchdown. It's going to be tough for Jefferson County. And you know, Nathan, you've, you've been in this situation. Well, you haven't really been in this situation a lot because Maryville was very rarely behind. But the point is, this is where somebody, a leader, has got to take over on that defense. And, they, and, and Jefferson County's defense has got oh, to make a stand. Oh, oh. Still on the ground. Patriots. Oh. Patriots get the fumble at the 38 yard line. Well, there you like go. Jefferson County teams are going to have a little more time to, to find a leader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. We have a, a buffed punt by Sevier County, and they had a little trouble, if you remember, with the opening kickoff. Jefferson County recovers it. They're going to have a Claybo Express Shine Car Wash first and 10 from the Sevier County 39 yard line, and, and we'll see. And that's big for Jefferson County. They have a little momentum of their own now. Yes, it is. Huge. Now we'll see if they can convert. Yeah. First down for the Patriots in Smoky Bear territory at the 39 yard line. So both teams experiencing some of the uh, opening game jitters. But right now, Sevier County leads 7 0. Atkins back in at quarterback out of the shotgun. He's going to fake the handoff. Walker Curry's under. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Looks like there's a penalty down there. Not sure what that is. Dude, what did you say? Penalty on the field. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. I did, oh, yes, I do see it over there. Uh, that's going to be interesting. That, that's in the area of defensive holding, maybe, isn't it? All right. Let's hold the presses. What we have is a, a sack, fumble, return for a touchdown, but we do have a flag on the play. So let's see what we got here. Turn by number 12, Tyree Bowling. Tyree, oh, I'm sorry, Carlos Perez. Carlos sorry. Perez in the right spot at the right time. And it looks like the penalty is not going to be 
advantageous to Jefferson County. Yeah, probably was a sideline warning, is what it was. Oh, okay. I would imagine. Yeah. That was that was wrong with the yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so a uh, big momentum switch right there. Sevier County with the extra point. The kick is up. The kick is good by Isaac Hen Henriquez. And we have a 14 0 ball game, and we're just a little over halfway through the first quarter. So, I mean, this is a tough situation for Jefferson County. You come in here with a defense that's very experienced, you, you're against a rivalry team, and, and you're halfway through the first quarter and you're down by 14. Right. Well, I think what they need to look at right now is the, only seven points are attributed to them right now. So right. if they can look on the positive side, it's still very early first quarter. Like you said, they have to they have to lay on their leaders, 10 Jalen Haney and 7 Ben Royster. They're going to have to they're going to have to get their guys going and, and just make a stop. I mean, you got to step up. And you know, you, you would think too, tell me if you don't agree with me, their offense looks a little slow. Like the quarterback, the play seems to be developing so slow that Sevier County has a chance to, to upset And the, I would agree with that. I'm a little surprised at all the passes too with, with yes. the hogs in the back foot. Yes. I would start feeding him if I was. A I, I yeah. agree with you 100%. I because mean, if, if you don't now and you get behind by another, another score, you're going to have to be throwing the ball quite a bit. Right. And you want to keep your defense off the field a little bit, especially after that first long drive. Exactly. Yeah, you give them some rest. All right, so it's 14-0. Sevier County getting ready to kick off from the 40-yard line. Back for Jefferson County. We looks like we got number seven, Ben Royster. And Brody Moore. There's the kick by Henriquez. It's going to be picked up by Brody Moore. He's going to return it, try to get to the outside. He's going to make it to the outside. All right, nice return by Brody Moore for Jefferson County. That'll put the Patriots in business at the midfield stripe. Let me go over our sponsors for you one more time. We want to thank Krispy Kreme Donuts, our presenting sponsor, Buddy's Barbecue in Sevierville, Claybo's Express Car Wash, Sevier County Electric System, Five Oaks Tire and Service. We're excited to have all of them. And our touchdown sponsor, which I failed to mention twice, and I apologize, is TikTok Tax Service. So thank you to TikTok Tax Service for the two touchdown sponsors we've had so far in this 14 to nothing ball game. Ah, we got a penalty there. Again, same same offensive lineman jumping again. Young guy. Let's see what year he is. And he's just a sophomore, and you would expect that. I noticed they didn't have Jack Hawkins or Chris Hawkins in the backfield that time. I, I wonder if there's anything going on with him. Or yeah, if just changing it up. A that's bit. a good question. I don't know. That's uh, we'll have to wait and see how that develops. Good pickup. We still got Atkins as the quarterback. And we got a first and 15. Another block pass. Looked like that it could have almost been another false start on the offense. Yeah, yeah. Josh Miller was in the backfield that time. And once again, Sevier County just, Sevier County seems to be more, they're attacking more on defense right now. I mean, they're just, they're kind of playing with, a, with an intensity that the Patriots are not able to match. I would agree with that. They are. So now it's got second down, second and 15. We're in the pistol formation. Going to give the handoff to Ball. Oh, another great play. Fumble. Uh, they called him down, though. Big play by 33, Dylan Magaha. Magaha. I think it's Magaha. Yeah, we remember him from last year, Dylan Magaha. But again, I mean, we just, it just. As you talked about, yeah, Severe Carey's team is getting penetration. Yeah. You know, uh, forcing forcing the hand of Jefferson County's offense. But but it it, plays. but oh, good point. But in all fairness, we mentioned early in the game that this offensive line is very inexperienced. Sure, we've already seen a couple uh, penalties on them, and and it seems like they're having trouble with the blocking schemes as well. I, I would agree with that. Nice pass. Yeah, nice pass. It was a nice pass. That's going to pick up about half that yardage. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough for a first down. So that's going to give them a fourth and ten from the midfield. It's like they're sitting on the punt team. Yeah, I think you have to do that here. 4.17 left first quarter. You certainly can't afford to give Sevier County good field position again. So Jefferson County's defense has had a while now to fix the problems on the first series to see, see how they answer. Yes, they have. 
on the snap. Good. Race takes his time. Hits it high. Not very long, but he hits it high and it hits the side of his foot. Not a very good punt. Yeah, it's going to be about a net 17 yard punt. So Sevier County is going to have a first town, a Claybo Express Shine car wash first and 10 from their own 33 yard line. All right, let's see what Jefferson County can do here on defense. Got to have a big play here. Remember, you can watch this game. You can watch all the your high school sports games, all six of them, on Charter Channel 180. I think I, they might want to even try to dial up some blitzes here to start pressuring Cam a little bit. Yeah. You don't want him to get too comfortable in there. Good, quite, good point. Bring the fight to him. How tough is it, you, as a former linebacker, how tough is it that zone read stuff? I mean, you know, it seems to me like it'd be very confusing to a linebacker. Uh, it can be. You have your keys to read. Usually the offensive line is going to give away the play 90% you know, of the time. But as you said, the zone read is tough because they're just, they're just kind of fanning out, taking their zone blocks, and the runner has his option of where to go with it. So you just have to engage with them, get them off your body, and just try to get in the right position. So a pickup of about five, or almost six. So that's going to be a second and four. Throw a little bubble screen. It's going to be complete. Oh. So that's going to be a first down. They had a little trouble setting the edge there at the end. They're going to want to make sure they, they yeah. set that edge. Daniel Powers with the reception from Cam Burden. And, uh, you know, right now, you, you, you know, you really wouldn't think that Jefferson County has, a, has an experienced defense. I mean, no, they, you, you would. They're, getting, they're, they're getting blocked. They're getting out guest right and you, would, and you would think the the quarterback cam there is maybe a senior and he's working with exactly a, a pretty new defense <laughs> exactly gets them there but that's right two receivers and a wing back on the left side he's looking to roll out to the right oh there's haney hey, yeah. to throw down field. Ooh, nice oh, pass on the run i think the referees are looking and they're going to say yes it is yeah, a nice pass by so cam that's a catch there. yeah nice pass on the run by cam it's going to be caught by Braden hurst Hurst was one of his receivers last year as a sophomore. I Haney, still, go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go sorry. ahead. I, I still think they need to pressure Cam a little bit. He's, yeah, he, he got some pressure there. But that was just from the D line. I think they need to bring a linebacker, maybe the the Patriot position player. Just get, get him uncomfortable. Well, I was going to ask you about that too. When you were talking about the zone read, is it can can you maybe do some run blitzes, kind of make him force him right. to make a decision? Yeah, yeah. Do some run blitzes so you go ahead and blitz blitz a few gaps there and make the runner go where you want him to go. So right. You know, right. Oh, nice hit. Wow. Wow. And even if not even blitz, it's just you want to, at linebacker, you want to, you want to, you want to force, force their hand. You want to gain ground. You don't want to sit back there. Tyree Bolding felt the wrath of 258 pound Jalen Henry, Jalen Haney on that play. That was a loss. It's going to be third to about eight now for Sevier County. A little bit less than two minutes left in the first quarter. 14 to nothing, Smoky Bears. Incomplete. Burden, Burden tried to tried to fan it out there to number six, Braden Hurst. It was going to be incomplete. Another rollout by Cam there. It looks like they're. He might not be more. Might not be too comfortable in the pocket. It looks like he's most comfortable out on the out, on the outside and, there. And I think you're right. And I think part of that is comfort level, and also his ability is that, to run. Right, his yeah. ability to run makes him a little bit more dangerous right. out there on the outside. So that's going to be a fourth down. But your defense now, Burton, Cam Burton's still in the game, so we don't know what he's going to do here. Defense has to honor it. They do put one man back just in case they kick it. Maybe the Patriots may pay a little closer attention. Whistles are sounding, and uh, we're going to make sure of it. So yeah. Jefferson County is going to call a timeout. A timeout. Go. we got about a minute and 47 left in the first quarter. Let's keep it right here and go over a few things. Uh, I want to remind everybody that uh, our game tonight is brought to you by Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway. Hot and ready donuts. Look for the hot light daily, 6 a.m. to 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. to 10.30. We're also brought to you by Buddy's Barbecue. They provided our pregame meal that everyone up here in the press box enjoyed to some degree tonight, whether it be cookies or barbecue or drinks. Uh, thank you to Buddy's Barbecue. Claybo's Express Car Wash. Where's Valley Road? Weekly discounts. Sevier County Electric Systems. Five Oaks Tire and Service. Call them today for all all your auto needs, 865-453-3469. Remember, you can watch us every Wednesday night on Charter Channel 180. We want to thank Claybo's Express Shine Car Wash for our first down sponsor and TikTok Tech Service for our touchdown sponsorship. We've got about a minute 47 left, 14-0 Sevier County. 
Cam Bird in again, still showing somewhat of an offensive set here. They do put, Jefferson County does put Royster back deep just in case they punt it. A smart play by Severe Cameron there. I don't think I would, no. I think I would run two fakes in a row. No. <laughs> I don't think you want to go to the well. No, no I think the, Jefferson yeah. Cameron was looking for that time. Oh, yeah. I think they were looking for that one, Soldier. All right, so uh, Jefferson County, the Patriots are going to take over about the 20-yard line. It's going to be first and 10. Claybo's Express Shine Car Wash. Let me mention real quickly, uh, the Patriots are in Class 6A, Region 1. Their region opponents are Bearden, Dobbins-Bennett, Farragut, Hardin Valley, Morristown West, and Science Hill. The Smoky Bears are Class 5A Region 2. Their region opponents, Carter, Gibbs, Central, Halls, Seymour, and South Doyle. All right, I think you got to. I think you got to establish the running game here. I we would got, agree with that. Yeah, we got. I got Hoggins back there again, so got it back in there. I mean, you're only down by two scores. You got three quarters left. Try to establish some sort of tempo on offense. And see again. I mean, I don't understand yeah. that. You see, okay, yeah. bringing the pressure again. Again, looked like maybe some problems on the offensive line. Yeah, I. I mean, I don't. I don't get that at all. I mean, your offensive line is struggling. And they're struggling to block the Sevier County defensive line, and you're running Rolling bootleg out. passes. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't, I don't understand that one. So that's going to be a big loss. Another, gosh, another 12-yard loss. That's going to be second and 22. And if I was Sevier County, I'd start using some timeouts. I'd force them to punt it from their own end zone. Yeah, exactly. Sevier County just called a timeout, I believe. Maybe not. Let's see. No, I guess not. I guess they just stopped it to spot it. Looks like they're showing blitz for County. Yep. Pretty good blocking that time. Oh, nice run. Nice run. Power run. Yeah, Hawkins yeah. dragging about four or five guys down yeah. the field. Reminiscent of uh, Bavaro from the Giants there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Dragging the 49ers down the yeah, field. Yeah, exactly. That's a good call. The way, an oldie but a goodie. And that's going to be a big run. He gained about 21 yards. So now we got a third and one. Barring a penalty, this should be the last snap of the first quarter. Barring a penalty or a first down, I should say. And that time, as we said, the O-line opened up a pretty big hole. Yes, a quick hitting play. That's the best thing to run. Now they're going to go outside again. I don't understand yeah, that. I, I don't, after that success, I would keep hailing them inside. I never could quite understand why, when you got a third and one, you want to run wide. I've never, I've never understood that either. Unless maybe you have a Barry Sanders at running back or something, but that's. So you ended up losing four yards, and now it's going to be fourth down and about four. You're going to have to punt it away. We do have an injury down in the field. As soon as we get a number, we can relay it to you. you not really sure at the moment. Let's take a quick break with the injury on the field. We got seven seconds left in the first quarter. 14 to nothing, Smokey Bears. Oaks Tires, carrying top name brands Michelin Tires and BF Goodwrench Tires. Visit FiveOaksTire.com. Located on 1425 Parkway, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Or call Five Oaks Tires at 865-453-3469. All right, we're back. This should be the last play of the first quarter, barring a penalty. Fourth down and about, uh, let's call it four from the 25-yard line. Jefferson County line to punt. There's the snap. 
There's the kick. Square County re receives it, and nobody there to stop him. Oh, he's out of bounds. Uh, Stag, they called him out of bounds. Nice return. Nice return. By Braden Hurst. James and Jerry Stevens about to be tested here again, they, backed up in their own they, uh, red zone. They really are. I mean, I, you know, I, I, just, I just can't figure it out right now. But let's, we'll talk about it on the other side. Let's take another break because we have the quarter break right here. One quarter in the books. Sevier County 14. Jefferson County nothing right here on your high school sports game of the week. We'll be right back. Mmm. Just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme donuts are made fresh daily. Our service is fast and friendly and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite. So call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. At Sevier County Electric System, we know that when the power goes out, it's important to you to have power restored as quickly as possible. That's why we've introduced the Power Action Line. As soon as you call the Power Action Line from a phone associated with your electric service, we know immediately that your power is out. The Power Action Line lets us answer up to 1,200 calls per hour, so we can make sure and identify all outages, even after major storms. We track those outages through our integrated mapping system, which provides our operations center a better understanding of where the affected areas are located and predicts probable starting points that helps our crews begin looking for the problem. Our whole goal is to get your power back on as soon as possible. We'll even call you back to make sure your service has been restored. At Sevier County Electric System, we want to take care of our customers, and that's what we do every day. Sevier County Electric System, we are the power behind our community. Just call 865-774-6300. All right, we're back. Start of the second quarter. Jefferson, or excuse me, Sevier County with a first and 10, a Claybo's Express Shine car wash first and 10 at the Jefferson County 36-yard line. As Nathan said during the break, time for the Patriot defense to step up right here. Wow. And guess what we have? We have a tick tock tack service touchdown by Sevier County. Cam Burden steps up in the pocket, avoids the rush, throws a dart down the sideline to Colin Russell, and Sevier County has a touchdown and a 20 to nothing lead pending the extra point. I like that play call they're going for on the, on the first play. Yes, yes. You can't, let, you can't let the receivers get behind you on defense. That's rule number one for a safety. Right, exactly. Hey, that's exactly right. I mean, you cannot let a guy get behind you. Henriquez gets ready here. The kick is up. The kick is good. It's 21 to nothing. And we'll keep it right here since we've had a couple breaks already. We want to give you an update. The injured player for Sevier County was number 36, Caleb McKenzie, the junior running back, defensive back. Uh, they're still looking at him on the sidelines. Uh, Trainers are talking to him right now. Looks like it's some sort of a leg injury. Hard to tell from here, obviously, but they're attending to him. They're really putting the heat on action. All right, so we are uh, got 11.50 left, second quarter. Sevier County's going to kick it off. Mr. Isaac, Isaac Henriquez has been a very busy man tonight. He's kicked it off four times. He's kicked three extra points. He's going to pooch it in there, field it at about the 20, bobbled at first by number five for Jefferson County. He's going to turn oh, he it around the other the way. 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 40. Nice play. Kicker making the tackle there. Very busy tonight. Ryan Potts. And the kicker made the tackle. That's right. So, so he was a, he's, not only is he kicking, he's making tackles as well. So uh, he's probably the most active kicker that we have in, uh, in this county tonight of all the high school football games. But nice return by Ryan Potts. But we have a, do we have a flag? We do. Something like that where he's reversing the field. I would venture to say maybe block at the back. I don't know. What do you Yeah, think? I think you're right. I think that's what it was, block at the back. Good run by Paul. Oh, Tumbled the ball around. Once he got it, that's what he did. He did a great job. Put it 
So they're going to take the penalty from the spot of the foul, which was the 35-yard line. That'll put the ball at the Jefferson County 25-yard line. And uh, we'll see what they can counter with here. They need a nice, long, sustained drive, put some points on the board, and get back in this game. Hawkins not in the game again. Good play to start the drive out. Good play by Josh Miller. Josh Miller doing a little double duty, playing safety tonight, as well as as uh, spelling Chris Hawkins at running back. But that was a good good play. Pick up five yards, second down and five. Mm. Yeah, it's like outside Sevier County, number 33. Yeah, and that showed some good discipline on the point of the offensive line. So it does. we got to yeah. give the we got to give the young offensive line credit where credit's due. You're right. That's 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 one thing you look for the young offensive line is, is discipline and on on dropping there, and they showed it. So that's going to be a Claybo's Express Shine Car Wash first and ten. Give Jefferson County the ball at the 35 yard line. We'll see if they can keep this drive going. First down, Atkins at quarterback still. Yep. Looks like Miller is still the tailback. So you bring it, bring it, blitz on the outside. Nice play by Cam Burton. Burton also playing safety. Okay, okay. Yeah. threw me off for a second. I thought they had two yeah. number twos there. Well, well, you, you <laughs> remember you're you're coming from a from a, a high school and college experience where not many people played both right. ways, but yeah. a lot of high yeah. schools they do. And, and Cam Burton is uh, he played a little safety last year in some of the games we did. Well, that was a good play there. He, yeah, yeah. Second down, 11, loss of one. There he is. Hawkins again. Uh, yeah, God, they got to keep feeding Hawkins. Yeah, I'll tell you, he runs, he runs hard. It's another way to offset a D-line that's getting up the field real quick. Right. Run up the middle. I was just gonna. I was thinking that earlier that when you've got an inexperienced offensive line and they're having trouble pass blocking or zone blocking, what better thing is put a hat on a hat and go straight at them. Exactly. So that's a Claybo Express Shine Car Wash first and ten, 45 yard line. Give it again to Hawk as he's going to take it right up the gut again. Breaks a tackle and a nice strong run picks up about five yards. That's right. Hawk is running tough tonight. And now, Nathan, I mean, if you can get a couple runs like that, what does it do? Play action, right? Play action. Now you can maybe give Atkins some time to set up and throw the football. Right. The, the linebackers might be inched up a little bit, expecting to run again. You play action, they'll definitely suck up, throw right behind them. All right, so we got a second down and about five. About 49-yard line. He's looking to throw. He's got all day. Man comes back tall. Nice job. By looks like that's just short of the first down yeah, line. Yeah, just maybe short of the third first. Third inches, third and one. Right. That oh, looks like maybe about third and two. Darius Allen with the reception from Atkins picks up about four yards, roughly three maybe. It's going to be third and about two from the Smoky Bear 47-yard line. And again, your point here, I would just – Line up, hat on hat on offensive line. Exactly. Block your guy, run it up the middle. Exactly. Power eye formation. I mean, that's exactly what I would do. There you go. Give it. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. First down. So Hawkins is going to pick it up. Another Claybo's Express Shine car wash. First and ten. Patriots moving the football now, 8-14 and counting left in the first half. And they're starting to pick up a little bit like we were talking about, looking a little lethargic to start off with, but I think they've started to establish the run game a little bit. They're, they're settling in. Eight minutes to go here in the first half. 21-0 Smokey Bears. Back it, back the throw. Uh oh, oh, mm. wow, incomplete. Good play by 19. Garrett Adams, they're coming up and making that play. Garrett Adams with a nice play. Ball was intended for Ryan Potts, the H back, 
And again, Atkins, you know, he came on about midway through last year and, and kind of took over the starting job, but he, he doesn't seem to be in sync tonight either. I mean, everything seems to be a little bit in slow motion as opposed to the way Sevier County is playing, and, and the, the toll is on the scoreboard. Second and ten, they give it back to Hawkins. He's going to, nice strong run. Ah, he stumbled a little bit. So that's going to be a third and about one, maybe two. Ball's going to be at 37-yard line of Sevier County. And I would give it to Hawkins again. I would too. Give it him again. If you get the first down, then I might try play action. Exactly. That's a good point. Give it to Hawkins one more time. Got to get it across the 35 for a first down. Atkins stays in the shotgun. Two receivers left. One to the right. Oh. Oh, the Throw it away. Throw it away. Right. Throw it. Uh, Still on his feet to the 35. Ah. Uh, Atkins didn't have much of a chance there to, to no, bring that one in. No, and you know, that's where you got to, I would think, you got to throw that ball away. Yeah, well, you're right. And I think most, you know, most levels they would, but a high school level, he's probably just thinking he wants to get as many yards as he can. Probably still has in his mind that he can get that first down, but the safe play would be to throw that away. And now we have a holding penalty on Jefferson County as well. So that's going to back them up. Sevier County will take the penalty, and that will move them back 10 yards. It's going to be a third and about 12 now instead of third and two. Oh, they're actually going to call something else. Oh, decline. So they're going to decline it, which is a smart move because now it's going to be fourth and about six. Out of field goal range, unless they have Adam Vinatieri yeah. waiting on the sidelines over there. <laughs> I don't think they have Adam Vinatieri. That, <laughs> this would be a challenging one for him as well, probably. <laughs> yeah, it's about what 60, 60 yards, something like that. More like Janikowski, maybe. Right. Good. Yeah. Good punt coverage. Good coverage. Getting him in just inside the ten. All right, so now we got what? We got 628 left in the first half. Sevier County's been in control of this football game from the get-go. They have the ball now at the 10-yard line, and this is the time for the defense of the Patriots to rise up. <laughs> All right, so we got a first and 10 from the 10-yard line. Sevier County, we got a, a whistle. And they're going to call timeout. So we'll take a timeout along with them. 628 left, first half. Sevier County 21, the Jefferson County Patriots nothing. Mmm, just look at all those freshly made Krispy Kreme donuts. I'm sure it makes you want one or a dozen right now. So come visit our locally owned and operated Krispy Kreme Donuts in Pigeon Forge. Our Krispy Kreme Donuts are made fresh daily, our service is fast and friendly, and the taste will put a smile on anyone's face. Krispy Kreme is a fundraising favorite, so call us today to help support your school or community fundraising efforts. Our delivery truck is there when you need us. Krispy Kreme Donuts on the Parkway in Pigeon Forge. Five Oaks Tires, carrying top name brands Michelin Tires and BF Goodwrench Tires. Visit FiveOaksTire.com. Located on 1425 Parkway, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, or call Five Oaks Tires at 865 453 3469. So clean, so shiny, your car will look brand new at Clay Bowles Express Shine Car Wash. Choose from a basic car wash to the manager special or purchase a monthly pass where you can go once a day, every day for a month. The neon lights look so cool while your car gets a fantastic wash in just minutes. So get the best car wash in town at Clay Bowles Express Shine Car Wash located on Wears Valley Road right across from Clay Bowles Campground. Open 8 to 8. All right, here we go. First and 10 from their own 10. Sevier County's just going to run it right up the middle. <clears throat> I'm going to pick up about two. Nice move by linebacker 31, Isaac Workman there. Isaac Workman, the linebacker, experienced linebacker for the Patriots. Nice fill, makes the stop, holds them to a gain of two. Oh, 
go back here to Spear County, and they're going to hit the ball off the bowling, and he's going to move from the 10 out to about the 13 before he's going to be written down. All right, so now we've got a second down and about seven, I would say, seven and a half maybe. He's going to fire a throw out in the flat. It's caught at the 16, trying to get to the corner, and does. Pretty good, pretty good open play there by safety Josh Miller. Yeah, Josh Miller, one of their experienced players, uh, fills in at tailback for Hawkins when he when he needs a breather. Also plays corner. 